I am blessed to be able to hear the gull from the front porch. And because I live so close, I shell a lot. Some would say, so much so that I'm obsessed. You know what? I'm okay with that. No matter what, I love sharing this passion with you. So let's visit Navarre Beach today. Good morning, beach bums, shellers, lovers of adventure, lovers of paradise. Look at that. Let's get up in the sun. Scotch bonnet in the morning. So for several days, we've had some pretty high seas. Oh, nice. That's a... Uh... A nice coquina. The wind is switched. It's out of the north right now, so that's laid the gulf a little flatter. It's not glass yet, but it's getting there. Just have a little break right here, right on the beach. It actually looks like a, a good snorkeling day, but I think it's a little cold for me yet. So it's in the low 60s. North wind. Sky is clear as a bell. And our first bittersweet of the day. So I walked a little higher. The shells are spread out here. I'd say it looks pretty good. About 50, 50 yards long at least and about 20 feet wide. So this is definitely a nice spot to zigzag back and through. If you're like my dad and love beachy adventures, please give a thumbs up and consider subscribing. You go high for a little bit, go low for a little bit. And with the, oh nice, nice, yes. And having subdued light, we definitely have to walk a little more slowly to make sure we don't miss anything. I think, let's check. Ah, uh, so close. So close. This is pretty exciting. been at least a week of very few shells and this is my first day back this is pretty good you know, let's pan up a little bit you can see what we're walking through all right let's go a little higher up oh orange is it full Ah, oh, so close. Here's a, a really shelly spot. Let's check out this. There's a nice scallop. There's a razor clam. So now that we've entered a different season, we don't have those negative low tides like we have in the winter. We basically just have a pretty quick change between the tides. So what we found right here is, well, I don't know, it's probably about 10 feet wide. A little flatter than a couple spots we just passed and the gulf laid some some shells out here you get into some of those um angled beaches you know the, the spots you don't like walking through most times there aren't shells there either so you just want to quickly pass through there and find these flatter points let's walk a little bit higher up see some shells let's see if this one okay that's a uh... Blue sign, that one's a whole one. We'll take that one. Look a little bit higher. Let's 
I think I can tell with the sunlight already what's up ahead. Looks like it's so close. Nice scallop. Well, this one will be good for the, ah, oh, so close. Cockle. That'll be good for the shell garden though. Just zigzagging back and forth. Looking for some beach treasures. All right, again, let me show you what we're seeing. Instead of just walking and recording very closely. Whole bittersweet, beautiful. So just for perspective, let's zigzag through this spot. This is probably about 15 feet wide. Oh, a bonnie, a bonnie. Look at that. Nice. Nice. And then I get. All right, we have to pick up the, the bittersweet. I get all excited and I go and set the shells down. Okay, put the couple of shells in the bag, zigzag, and we'll take that one. That's a good craft sand dollar. Oh, and an egg cockle. Ah, oh, so close. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> nice. A shark's eye. And a bonnie in the same hand. Nice. Just so... So amazing that we can walk the beach like this. Not only... Shark eye. Not only pick up shells. Listen to the... The surf. The shorebirds, oh nice. Oh, there's a bonnie off to my left, but I wanted to check out that scallop. And a flat, so there's the bonnie over there. The first flat of the day, nice. What's this? It looks like an albino nutmeg. All right, let me bring it up to the, I don't know. Had to bring it up to the spectacles. Nice body. All right. I have to transfer some shells here. Oh, nice. Look at the rack line up ahead. All right, shell bag transfer. Ah, oh, so close. So, so close. All right, that's a craft shell. All right, y'all hang on. So I'm pretty sure y'all saw that barnacle I passed up and I was thinking of picking it up, but I know I got distracted by something else. We have one library or one video in the library on making shell crafts and I was thinking I probably should be picking up some barnacles for those crafts. Then I got distracted by something and missed it. Head it off. Alright, let's look a little higher. And then as soon as I said let's walk a little higher, I turn to look and see more shells down below. So there's a couple craft items. Okay, we're definitely going to zigzag through here and walk slowly. Shark eye. Bittersweet. Nice worm snail. Okay, another barnacle. A 
adds nice color to your displays and your crafts. Sure enough, a bubble. Oh, bring it a little closer. A little broken shell. Oh, look at this. Hang on. Let's get this. A little lightning well. Alright, look at this point. Nice. Oh, this is, this is like Bonnieville. There's gotta be a Bonnie out here. All right, let me grab this fighting conk and then do a shell transfer and keep going. All right, folks, so how many times this winter, oh, so close, have we done a, a shell transfer and look down and there's something right in front of us. Nice. It's a hair whelk. Periodically we pick those up. Oh, so close. Looks like this is a shark eye that we missed. Yep, worm snail. All right, let's check out that point. I mean, this just looks like there should be a body in here. And I'm standing here looking around. Okay, we gotta walk slowly. I know, I know there's one hiding here. Wow, now that's a whopper of a slipper snail. There's a nice scallop, really colorful. All right, let's go around and then let's go back through. Oh, nice, nice. Look at this. Look at that. Beautiful. That one's gorgeous. Venus and bittersweet. Look at that. <laughs> right next to my foot. A shark eye. Right next to my foot. Well, maybe that's right where we picked up the that gorgeous scallop. Let's look up on the, the high spot here. The barnacle. All right, quick shell exchange. Shells in the, the bag. Thought I would go back through before we move ahead and see what we can find. Ah, oh, so close. So close. Here's a immature fighting clock though. Alright, let's stay down here. 
a little bit different angle at the shells as uh, sunlight hits them. 